I'm back with another unboxing video today. This is my July My Thrill Club box. My Thrill Club is about $14.99 a month and it sends you two books and also a movie based on the genre that you pick. Now, My Thrill Club, and I will put the link down below, my Thrill Club um, has choices. You could get the thrillers, or you get you could get horror. And I got horror, so there's going to be horror in here. And then My Thrill Club also does a My Sci-Fi Club, if you're interested in that, where you could choose fantasy or science fiction. So here we go. Let's see what horror horror I got in my My Thrill Club box. Okay, there's what it looks like. Here's a card. This is about a network called Shudder that streams all horror. Okay. Amusement. I've seen this movie and I liked it. This is really, really creepy, and I liked the premise, and it wasn't cheesy, it wasn't a bad horror movie, and I haven't seen it in a while, so I'll be happy to see this again. It's really creepy. So I got this DVD, Amusement. Let me get this out of the way. So I got Amusement. Whoops, upside down. Okay. This hardback. Cash Crash Jubilee, book one of the Jubilee cycle. Okay, and this is what's on the front. All those neon signs there. Never heard of this. It says, a one-way bullet train into a bizarre but chillingly plausible future. A brilliant debut. And Jesse Bullington, author of The Sad Tale of the Brothers Grossbart and The Folly of the World, said that. This author is Eli K.P. Williams. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> a cyber dystopian world unlike any other. In a near future Tokyo, every action from blinking to sexual, to sexual intercourse is intellectual property owned by corporations that charge licensing, licensing fees. Licensing fees for blinking? Whoa, okay. A body bank computer system implanted in each citizen records their movements from moment to moment and connects them to the audio-visual overlay of the IMANET so that every inch of the metropolis crawls with information and shifting cinematic promotainment. Eamon Kanzaki works as a liquidator for the global action transaction and Transaction and that's a mouthful. Okay, Global Action Transaction Authority. His job is to capture bankrupt citizens, remove their body bank, and banish them to bank death camps where they are forever cut off from the action transaction economy. Eamon always plays by the rules and is steadily climbing the liquidation ministry ladder. With his savings accumulating and another promotion just around the corner, everything seems to be going well until he has asked to cash crash a charismatic politician and model citizen. Soon after, he is charged for an incredibly expensive action called Jubilee that he is sure he never performed. To restore balance to his account, Eamon must travel the secret of Jubilee, must unravel, not travel, unravel the secret of Jubilee, but quickly finds himself asking dangerous questions about the system to which he's devoted his life, and the costly investigation only drags him closer and closer to the pit of bankruptcy. Mm, I'm always happy with my Thrill Club and the books that I'm given, but this seems like sci-fi, and I didn't sign up for sci-fi, I signed up for horror. Okay, in Cash Crash Jubilee, Book one of the Jubilee Cycle, debut novelist Eli K.P. William wields the incisive power of speculative fiction to show how, in a world of corporate finance, um, run amok. Okay, to show how, in a world of corporate finance, finance run amok, one man will do everything for the sake of truth and justice. Hmm. 
might be good. I mean, I'm not so closed-minded as I wouldn't try it, but this doesn't really seem like my thing. This is more... I mean, I like sci-fi, but I don't know. This doesn't sound like something that I would reach for. Mm, we'll see. Okay, let's see what the other one is. And they're both hardbacks, it looks like. I didn't get a packed by so-and-so note this time. Um, didn't get a quote. Okay. The Girl with Ghost Eyes by M. H. Borison. Lyrical and captivating, a thrilling adventure through historical Chinatown and an exquisite blend of history and myth set in a spirit world you'll never forget. And that's a quote from Rob Thurman, New York Times bestselling author. Mm. I don't know. I'm kind of disappointed in this month's box, to be honest with you. And you know what it says? It says fantasy on the inside. Um, you know, I signed up for horror. I want horror. Okay, this is what it says. It's the end of the 19th century in San Francisco's Chinatown, and ghost hunters from the Mayashan traditions of Daoism or Daoism keep malevolent spiritual forces at bay. Li Lin, the daughter of a, of a renowned Daoshi exorcist, is a young widow burdened with Yin eyes, the unique ability to see the spirit world. Her spiritual visions and the death of her husband bring shame to Li, to Li Lin and her father, and shame is not something this immigrant family can afford. When a sorcerer cripples her father, Terrible plans are set in motion, and only Li Lin can stop them. Oh my goodness. I think they got the boxes mixed up this time. This is not... This isn't my thing. Okay, they gave me a fantasy book, and they gave me a sci-fi book. Okay, I signed up for horror. That's what I wanted was horror. Okay, even though this talks about ancient you know, evil and stuff like that. It's all sorcerers, and it even says fantasy up here. <sighs> it says down here, in a Chinatown caught between tradition and modernity, one woman may be the key to holding everything together. Male-dominated Chinatown, gangsters, soul-stealers, Hmm. Yeah, I'm disappointed. I mean, they gave me this horror DVD, which was right on top, but these just do not strike me as horror. Okay, I don't even know if I want to try this one at all. I'm not sure if I want to try either of them. I hate to give such a negative review. I hate to be so narrow-minded, but... Um, this isn't my thing. Um, so I am disappointed with this box other than the DVD. Maybe I'll come back on another time and go, Oh, I read these books and I loved them. They were great and they were scary. Could be. Could be. But this doesn't look like what I was supposed to get this time. Okay. Until next time. <laughs>